welcome everybody to a new game that we uh, have brought because <laughs> I wanted to play it and I thought why not we'll do a couple episodes on the channel so uh infection free zone uh so basically you apocalypse has happened uh the the people have gone underground and they have been under the underground for ages and then they finally got the signal to come out of the ground and now you've got to go and scavenge food and scavenge <laughs> is that a word uh yeah and so there's infected around and then there's like crazed animals and you've got to rebuild things it's quite cool it's quite a cool little uh management game so I'm gonna go new the cool thing that i like about it is that you can go they use basically like Google Maps because you can go and you can be anywhere in the world. I like it. Look, here's New Zealand. Like we could literally, we could literally go to Auckland. Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's go to inner city. <laughs> right. What are we going to do? Uh, that's, that's pretty congested. Um, hmm we just do like we do this one or this one this one this one uh no we won't go there let's go out here uh oh we'll go to sylvia park that would be interesting where's his readout road that's great south road oh, i think i've gone too far hold on Austin road manicale here somewhere till your road Da, 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 da. Hospital road. Highbrook. It's in it's in here somewhere. Um no, we just oh we could go to like Rainbow's End. That would be fun. Uh right, we're gonna go here. There we go. And we're gonna go continue. Uh this used to be a densely populated area. The difficulty may be very high. Are you sure you want to continue? <laughs> You know me with games and difficulty. I just jump in feet first and we just go for it. So yes, it is a highly dense. Uh, yes, we will. We will jump in there. Uh, difficulty is medium. Uh, basically, I've turned off tutorial events just because that is the, the thing, you know, uh, because they, they pop up all the time and I've played through it already. So if you haven't, I can make a tutorial video for you, but you're gonna watch it without the tutorials. Right, what we're gonna do, just to make it a tiny bit easier, is we're going to add a few more people. That is it. We're not gonna change resources. We're not gonna change horde numbers. We're just gonna add people. And it's gonna make it easy. Or is it? Because this is quite a hard game. It basically, things can change just like that. Uh, you could get a wave or you could get anything and you, all of a sudden you're out of resources, you're out of people. Uh, let's go to that one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. It's still medium. We'll do medium. I'm, I'm a medium kind of person. Start. Right. We are going to get there. Right. While this is loading, because it has to download the, the map and everything like this, we are currently at 153 subs. And I'm very excited about that. You guys are awesome who have already subbed and I appreciate you guys so much. But if you haven't and you are watching this video for the first time and you're wondering who the heck is this cola guy? I am a Kiwi dad, uh, basically just having fun playing on YouTube. And I would love for you guys to come along for the ride. We are trying to make our goal of 250 subs. And if you can help out with that, it doesn't cost you anything. It's great. So do it. You get come along for the ride. Right. so i'm not gonna watch the video that pops up because uh you can see that video on their uh tutorials and on their um what do you call it their sneak peek videos and stuff like that we're just gonna get straight into it and i'll talk about stuff as we go along right that's a lot of blood okay so we start out the game and it says do our uh make our base of operations right so you can scroll around these are all the houses that you can pick you can go up here and i think this is like apartment buildings which is quite cool you've got this one here uh 
wouldn't be too bad actually capacity capacity so it tells you like uh, a capacity so it says storage capacity 174 and then living quarters so you can only house 12 people there so what you need really for the headquarters would be really good is if you had something big kind of like that that would be a cool one i don't know cancel you get a capacity of 371 and you get 27 living quarters which is which is pretty decent uh curry affair oh, there's a food place ah, that's, that's pretty cool okay and then this is your southern motorway quite interesting uh what have we got down here we have got hill park kindergarten hill park dentist it's interesting I did not click it in the right place for uh, the, the theme park, but that's all right. What about this one? That is the same. It's just an odd shape. Okay. What we're going to do, come all the way back over here. We're going to click on this bad boy. We're going to say yes to confirm that it's an uh, HQ. Pause. Right. So you have transmissions that pop up and these, this is a story one. So this is basically that we need to find out where the signal's coming from. So normally you'd go all through these options and, and you basically they, they say the exact same thing over and over again because it's a recording. And so to get out of it, you have to switch channel. Now this thing keeps popping up until I find where the transmissions have come from. But we have to do a few things before that. Uh, yep, cheap, this is the same transmission, blah, 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 blah. Cool, awesome. All right, let's go there. So we have to go all the way down here Look how far away this is. So, this is where we are, and this is where I have to go to find out about that transmission. This is quite a far way away. So, ooh, what's that? I don't know what that is. Is that, wait, is that, is that Rainbow's End? Nope, that's the super clinic. Okay, cool. I know where we are now. <laughs> <laughs> right so what we're going to do is we need to find some technical books we need to make an antenna and we need to house our people so this is our hq these i have one squad of four people and i can make up to six and i have 45 people and so that's the cool thing about this game is you can designate what these people do so at the moment they're unemployed and they will jump around all kinds of stuff but you can say i want five on scavenge i want five on building all that kind of stuff five on guard and we go from there but what we've got to do is we've got to figure out where we're going to adapt which is this option here we adapt these buildings into certain things so we can adapt them into a shelter or a warehouse or a research lab where is it medical bay research lab you know all these kind of things which is really really cool and so no two games are the same and then you've got all your options up here for food and like resources and all that kind of stuff so what we're going to do is this is our base we're going to make this one here our living quarters so we'll say uh shelter and we will fit 31 people here which is not bad and it's only going to cost 42 logs so we go that excuse me you were paused uh we also want to gather wood and conveniently there is some trees here so what we're going to do is we're going to say hey you guys need to go out and cut down those trees and bring them in now also we need a warehouse so uh this is to store all this stuff now we have got limited capability of 371 in the, our building here so what we'll do is we will adapt this building to a warehouse so we will get 928 storage capability and it's only going to cost us 26 logs should be sweet because we have 45 we need yeah should be fine we will get logs as we go along right let's unpause so while these guys these are all uh, the civilians uh, or builders as you call them they will gather the resources from this building and move them over to here and then they will start building this and you'll see it slowly see how this one's like colored in green halfway so it means i can only half the building is adapted to my h quarters hq and then this one will do the same it'll go blue 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 there we go look blue 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 and then it'll go green and when it's green it's mine the same with the warehouse so what we need to do is we need to go and scavenge and so we click on our squad we press V on the keyboard and it brings up, pause that again, it brings up a building 
are all the buildings that we can loot and they're all question marked except for ones that are specifically known as what they are so uh, if we go around here there should be a indian indian takeaway place it has like food on it where is it food where are you where are your food ah there right right here so this one here it's food it's a restaurant uh so basically you will find those around the place here's another one here's another one this one is a medical center so it has uh medicines so it's things that are known like a petrol station or stuff like that it's known to be uh a place that has that but anything with a question mark you don't know what's in it so it could have guns it could have petrol it could have food it could have anything so what we do is we start adapting around our own base and then we start moving out but there's so many places in a populated area to look at you have to be uh like you you do it close but then all of a sudden you're working all the way out here so that's when you need a car so we need to find a car at some stage right uh time goes by very quickly as you can see it is ticking away and we started i can't remember when we started but you start at six o'clock your civilians are allowed to come outside because the monsters don't come out during the day and they go back in at six o'clock at night uh, so basically they have a 12 hour shift and so you need to get your things done within that 12 hours so these are not going to be done i don't think within the the six hours so that is perfectly fine now dude found uh, our group found three lots of canned food in that house which is great so at the moment it is scavenging and that is great but see it's getting dark now so these guys will come in from their jobs and these guys have found more food so they're going to quickly come back deposit the stuff that they've got then run back and get it so the only difference between the civilians and my squad is the squad you can take out and you can do stuff at night civilians won't work at all unless it is daylight so let's go to this next one and then we'll pop this back in here for the night and we should have these up and running in the morning right so cool thing you can make another squad if you really want to so if we click on squads and we go create squads it creates another one but it takes it out of your civilians so you won't have as many to build and cut down trees and all that kind of jazz uh but you can disband squads so we should be okay uh you'll notice that uh the the horde spotted pops up quite a bit when it comes into our view and can be quite annoying after a while that's why i don't have headphones on at the moment because it gets quite annoying when it pops up all the time uh, let's go to this building this one's being adapted cool and then what we'll do is we will put up some towers uh, some shooting towers on either side on four sides and then eventually we'll put our like a perimeter around of like wooden fences and stuff like that so they are gonna sit in there they have found more food which is lovely nighttime seems like it goes by so slow like compared to the day it goes by so slow uh so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out here with that one not with you with that because we need to keep getting food uh, we haven't got any farms or crops or anything like that so we need to keep scavenging food. see horde spotted pops up quite a bit but the horde could be like ages away be like way over here somewhere uh and it's not even near us but it pops up and says hey horde spotted horde so it spotted. can be quite annoying uh when you don't know like see that one there it's over here so it is coming towards us but it is quite far away as well so if we get that guy back to our base ready for action him back to our base Roger. and then if that horde comes along which it's not it's deciding to stay over there no it is coming down here turkey it might come and try and bash our building or something like that and these guys will shoot out of the building because see their perimeter is this green ring so as soon as the hordes get into that green ring they will start shooting here we go Cool. and they're more protected in a building than they are 
just on foot so really really good to know if you ever play this game uh they can shoot things on foot but they are more protected if they jump in the building wrong team oh it is 12 a.m well 1 a.m actually no so we have four more hours before i think it's five o'clock actually that's really to start to out and they go back in at six at so we will speed up time a little bit and you'll notice that it says horde spotted quite a bit or building clear which is totally fine and we'll try and get some resources back if you can find a car really handy because the car will hold more resources than these guys will and less trips back to hq but then uh, a car uses obviously uses petrol and you can't uh, it gets damaged and stuff like that over time Ready for right half past five is when the sunlight comes up and where uh, the, our workers come out so you'll see them pop out of the building and the hordes do go away unless there's cloud so what happens is the weather up here dictates what the hordes do if it's nice and sunny they'll be inside and they won't annoy you during the day if it is moonlight then they will be inside and they won't annoy you for the day but if it's cloudy and if it's nighttime they will be out in force right get this guy here this guy's going back these technically should be adapted by the end of the day Uh, incoming transmission. Chief, we've just found a Chief. shitload uh, of supplies. Uh, Some prepper must have lived. Prepper lived here. Cool. That's great. That's awesome. So that's that's off. really handy when it's Operator. so close. Petrol. There's guns. Real, real great. Let's uh, do it. So you, car, you are going to collect that stuff. This is nearly done. Let's do that. Ready for action. Going there. Ready for action. Power. Yay, right. So our storage building is adapted. So now we have a green warehouse and we can store up to nearly 1300 items. Uh, that's given us back some people because they're not on building mode anymore because there's only 10 builders that can be adapted at the moment because that's for this building here. And so some of them are unemployed and so they'll be cutting down trees or we could tell them to demolish a building or something like that but what I might get them to do is I might get them to gather the metal that is down here because I have a plan for it later uh, click on here seven of them are going to do that which is lovely I go down here keep swapping those guys I still haven't figured out how to tell them to do it automatically so if you guys know how to do that uh, to like scavenge a building automatically and take it back and come back for more then let me know oh there is wheat there as well very happy about that. Waiting orders. Let's do it. We're at 2 p.m. already. We've got our housing situation, which is awesome. Uh, we'll go one more to this building, and then we shall start going to this building. You guys can go there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to demolish probably this building here, and I'm going to run a fence all the way down this road and along here then up and around but what we will do is we will put these guys back in their building and we will make another squad put this squad excuse me put this squad here now we've got a protection there there and on this side uh, for the night that means if any hordes come along which there is a horde over here these guys will start firing uh, and these guys have got quite a good range as well here we go so they're all going to shoot and they're fully protected without me uh having to chuck these guys around uh is that gonna do is that gonna be a problem that is a lot those guys can shoot those guys can't shoot uh -oh. oh yeah those guys are can these those guys shoot uh, right so what we're gonna do is go here Oh, we're going to move you to there, just because they're all on this side. So we can move people around and they can start firing better on the side. And, uh, it's, quite a, it's quite a good, cool management game. Right, check 
you back on this side so that you can get something. So what I'm planning is get rid of this building. We're going to make a, a wall that goes all the way up here and then comes running down here and then along up and there and it'll enclose all these and all these little buildings I can use for either housing or warehouses or research labs or whatever and we'll go from there. Now I need to figure out if there is a car in the vicinity which I don't think there is that I have seen yet. And basic oh what is that? No? It's weird. Maybe that was that one. Uh, you guys could keep doing this while it's night time. Pull you back. They turn up. There's another horde spotted. Quite active in town, and I bet you that's why they were saying it's like hard mode. Because there is probably a lot of people that are in an urban area, so it means there's going to be a lot more ports. Uh, we are going to take you and put you up here. Now those hordes have seen our team, so they are running towards us, and now they will get smashed as soon as they come into this area. Shoot! Dirt. <laughs> okay, cool. We're doing it. So we're breaking into our building. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly move you to there and you to there, and then before these guys start destroying this building, these guys will shoot. This is when towers become handy, because then I don't have to manually manage things. Towers just shoot. Right. Let's speed it up a tiny bit until. Five, or at least five thirty. Awesome. Receiving. Need to get on my there. Way. Oh, and then our civilians will start heading out Reporting. into their roles. Make that one goes the there, and waiting orders yep. on my way. So what have we got? We have got weather forecast, which is sunny, pretty much awesome. It means the clear. hordes will stand slide. Building clear, lovely. Come down here. Going there. We've currently got not a lot of any resource. So what I will do, the best way to do it is wait for these guys to finish these and then we'll tell them to demolish a building and that gives lots of resources. Ooh, good example. So the horde goes into a building when it's daytime. So this one has a um, horde in it, and it's very close. So as soon as nighttime starts, they'll probably start running up here. Yeah. Sir, the people have reported. They're afraid. Cool. Uh, let's prep. We'll be ready. Some. Ready for action. Here. I'll probably do like a 30 minute vid of this uh, if you guys want to see more obviously let me, let me know in the comments and i will start recording some more for a sunday otherwise we could turn sundays into like demo day so basically like i could do a couple of demos uh, and just just maybe cycle through some games that we might have and you guys can tell me if it's something that you guys with want to watch uh and go from there but I thought, because this has just been released, well, why not give it a go, chuck it on the channel, and it'll be quite a cool little experience. Building clear. There. Ready for action. Going there. All, right, all the trees are nearly done, so I'll tell them to gather Going those there. two trees as well. Speed that thing up. Job done. Area yeah. on my way. No more to find. Yeah. And go to yeah. left. No more to find. Oh, and you can go up. Yeah. Right. Quite a few Waiting buildings orders. that we could demolish, which is good. And they're outside of where building I wanted clear. to put building the clear. barriers anyways. Clear. Excuse me. Go. Thank you. Going right. There. 
there's nothing yeah. left. Now, uh, because the trees are finished, well, except for those trees, what I'm going to do is I will just put those up there. We're going to pause this button here. We'll demolish the building, which that the building will give me 17 wood, 8 metal, and 10 bricks. So I will tell it to, yes, I want to go ahead and do that. And the same with this one. And the same with this one. So is that going to be all of them? And then, yeah, I'll probably come up and around that way. And at the moment, those are going to be fine because they can just transform them back and forth. Right. Uh, scavengers max 17. Perfect. Only four per house. Yes. But that's it. Uh, cool. Ah, da, 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 da. We're... I don't need to go down. You can come back here. It's getting to night time. And we will just wait for the hordes to emerge. Love that it auto saves just before night time. Oh, look, there we go. So this one is full moon. So basically, uh, my my civilians won't come out and do work which is annoying and i thought maybe there was an option to do that uh display units metric celsius time format 12 hours yep analyze data uh apply roof decoration yeah sure uh, right, so what we're going to do is continue. I thought there was an option somewhere to tell them that, hey, you can still go out when it's moonlight, uh, but apparently not. But these guys can, so they can go and do this business. Unpause. Do stuff. We'll basically just keep moving these guys around. Clear. Clear. No, we're getting close to that board. Clear. Operator. So what we will do is I will clear this building out. This building. That one's going to go back there. These two can jump in here and they can destroy that. I'll show you what the. Uh, actually all three of them can I can show you what happens to them when we do that so yeah we tell this one to go in here this guy to go in here and this guy to go in here and then if we cycle through our see they start getting taken damage but that was the only damage that they took so that's good and the horde is dead Building clear. there no they can go there they are. Building clear. It's hard when you don't know about what the scavenging is going to be like. Like there's heaps of buildings, but you Building could a large piece of dried meat here uh, piece you of could not find ground. anything in some of them. The large piece of dried meat. Find. Yep, on the floor. Try and catch something. Uh, let's leave. It it is. Let's not play around with that. Right. So some of the options are quite good. They move the story along uh but they also affect what happens down the track ready for action okay so put you We're over the there Morning, everybody. Time to oh living. so it's daytime again so now these guys Reporting. they don't need sleep like just no more to find search done no more to find cool. let's go back search done go over here building clear We should be getting cool. We're getting some resources, which is lovely. Receiving. Reporting. Let's do oh. it. Task ready for action. You can move. Yep. Roger. Clear. Oop. Go back. He's built. Clear. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay up our, our fences. Uh, at the moment, if you leave them kind of open uh it means that the horde will won't bash through them they'll just come around the outside and come in which is great and it means that we can kind of divert them to certain areas so if i want to go like that i'm making a fence all the way down here and if i go up here 
can put that up to about there and then go up to ah uh, see so go this way there's a tree in the way and we'll go to there which is fine and then this side we might put uh gated so to do that we click on the building we say hey we want uh do a brick wall uh we could how much brick do we have no we could do a wooden gate and then you can like rotate it around which is quite cool play around with it so we're going to put the gate yeah um yep cool we're going to put it there and then see i've got a gap here so what you can do is just pick up a wooden paling and say hey join and it's done awesome so we'll leave that as is and my people will build it they are getting more resources and we'll just start like demolishing all these buildings along here keep these ones at the moment we may have to expand out and use that as storage but all these ones up here i'm going to demolish so awesome uh if you guys liked it let me know in the comments give us a like sub all that kind of stuff and you guys have a good rest of your day we'll see you in the next one bye